This reflection was given at St. Benedict's Monastery for the vigil of the second Sunday of Advent in 2021. The Gospel used was Luke 3 verses 1 through 6. This week we meet John the Baptist. John was the son of a small town priest, Zechariah. John was not a temple-going man, but someone wandering in the wilderness, living at the edge of society. Maybe this is why Luke makes sure that we know this event is for real. It is set in a specific time and place. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea. And then he goes on to list tetrarchs and high priests. It is only after we have a clear picture of the setting, we are told that the word of God came to John. In the wilderness, John must have been open to the word and pondered it. The message was so clear and compelling that he could not keep it to himself. There was this burning need to tell others of the coming of the Messiah. This message was one of repentance in order to receive this Messiah, to straighten out one's life by removing the obstacles that hinder the journey. As stated by the prophet Isaiah, make a straight path, fill every valley, bring mountains and hills low, and make the rough ways smooth. We are not in the wilderness of the rocky desert of Israel or near the winding Jordan River. We are here in central Minnesota, but the voice of John is still ringing in our ears. Who is it that is proclaiming the message of repentance? Is it someone living at the edge of our society, beckoning us to notice and to change our habits of living? Are we, perhaps, that voice sounding advocacy of justice for the poor and oppressed. How are we listening to that message as we strive to deepen our love for Benedict and monastic life? The daily rockiness of life needs to be tended to for the good of ourselves and for others. The small petty obstacles as well as the larger and broader rifts in our lives. Benedict reminds us in the prologue that we should, quote, not be daunted by fear and run away from the road that leads to salvation. It is bound to be narrow on the onset. So in the first term of President Joseph Biden, when Tim Waltz is governor of Minnesota and Rick Schultz is mayor of St. Joseph, during the pontificate of Pope Francis and Donald Kettler as Bishop of the St. Claude Diocese, with Sister Susan Rudolph as Prioress of St. Benedict's Monastery, the Word of God comes to us. In this time and in this place, we are the hands, the feet, the voice that bring the message of repentance of word by word and example so that all flesh may see the salvation of God.